A one hour drive from Shaftesbury and Dorset to Glastonbury in Somerset finds us parking near the famous Tor. The legendary and iconic Glastonbury Tor rises 158 metres above the relatively flat landscape with a 360 degree panoramic view of the Somerset levels. On a clear day, as we're lucky to have, you can also just make out the distant Bristol Channel. Once the hill was an island known as Avalon and myths and legends abound here. Legend has it it was a location for the Holy Grail. King Arthur and his knights, druids and even Jesus is said to have come here. Jeez! <laughs> and now we're here. The tower is the remains of the 14th century church of St Michael and prior to that a Roman fort and probably a hill fort going way back into the mists of time. And folk have been making a pilgrimage here for centuries. In 1539, the last abbot of Glastonbury was hung, drawn and quartered here, along with two of his monks. Not nice, in fact, positively nasty. The Tor is indeed a spiritual place for Christians and pagans, with the latter more notable with names and signage of shops in Glastonbury town centre. It's quite an experience walking along there. <laughs> And imagine being up here the crack of dawn on a midsummer's morning would indeed be a spiritual experience and a moment I'm sure to remember. However, today with tourists around like ourselves, maybe not so. Still, it's another place to tick off the bucket list. I look out over the landscape, trying to spot where the famous Glastonbury Festival is held, but it's about six miles away from here to the east. And it's on a farm so you can't really see it. But you probably would see it and definitely hear it if you were here when the festival was on. Below the conical hill lies the Chalice Well, and as the sign says, it's a sanctuary of pilgrimage, healing, peace, contemplation and meditation. The ancient Red Spring of Avalon, in fact. It certainly is a peaceful retreat as we walk around, and I'm trying not to be too obvious with my GoPro camera. After all, folk for over 2,000 years have been coming here to this well for peace, tranquility and inspiration, to quench their thirst too, no doubt.
the gardens, we head off for the 10 minute hike to Glastonbury High Street. Missing out though entirely on Glastonbury Abbey ruins, which is a shame as legend has it that King Arthur and his missus, that would be Guinevere, were buried here. Well, this has to be, judging by the shops and premises that are on either side of the high street, the most unique high street in England. Indeed, it's in one of the oldest towns in England. Just about everything is geared up to mysticism, healing, witches, wizards, zen, fairies, paganism and the earth and natural cycles of life. Yep, it's utterly fascinating and seems almost lost in time. Certainly the 60s and 70s anyway, back in those hippie days. Oh well, this is Glastonbury, can't you tell? Thought it pub. Sounds good. Yep, we have lunch here and love the huge Muriel, yes Muriel, which reminds me of Moody Blues album covers like Days of Future Past or In Search of the Lost Chord maybe. This is Glastonbury. <laughs> it's everything you'd expect. Lost in time here a bit, babe, isn't it? Like 1970s, 60s. It's a music shop with a keyboard. Happy girl. Yeah, man. Chocolate love temple. Yeah, love chocolate. Yep, yeah, love Glastonbury and its ambience. It's certainly a unique place, that's for sure. Well, that's our mini tour of Glastonbury. Please feel free to subscribe to many more travelogues to come. Cheers. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs>